This is Cranston, Rhode Island. And here, just like everywhere else, the world of politics is riddled with the trail of rampant hypocrisy and double standards as political parasites continue to live above the laws that they make for each and every one of us to follow. In a rare move of accountability, Rhode Island cops arrested a local councilman who was found asleep at the wheel with a glass pipe in his hand. Matthew Riley, a Cranston City Council member, has since resigned from his position. In a one-sentence letter, Riley said, quote, I hereby submit my resignation as the Ward 6 City Council person effective immediately. The event unfolded when police responded to a 911 call and discovered Riley passed out in his car. Body camera footage released this week shows Riley startled awake after an officer shook him. The scene is a jarring glimpse into the realities of the drug epidemic that currently plagues America. One that clearly knows no demographic boundaries and impacts all walks of life. Mm -hmm. Oh. I'm going to pat you down. Yes, sir. Just put your interlocker into fingers. Into mm -hmm. fingers. Do you have any weapons on you? No, not at all. One call. Yeah. All right. Road's open. Boston. I'm going to start trying not to... Uh... Rotate off. That's all. Oh, no way, dude. Really? Yes. <laughs> yes. I was just taking... I was just on my way back from court. <laughs> Uh, well, arrest is going to come check you out, man. I can't let you go. You were literally choking in your sleep. Somebody flagged me down about it. Oh, I have sleep apnea. I'm sorry. Well, and then you have a crack pipe in your hands, so it's like... Come on. Sorry. Listen, I, I have a body camera. Obviously, yep, everything obviously. I have is recorded. You know that. And I, what I've observed is on camera, so I can't pretend I didn't. You know, so arrest is going to come here, oh, and they're going to check you out. You know, you, as far as I know, there's no drugs anywhere, so I no. can't, you know, so there's not a criminal investigation. There's more a health or well-being check type Thank thing. Thank you. Um, but, uh, yeah, I obviously have to document it, you know. Possible loose translation. You're a politician. You write the laws. I'm a law enforcer. I enforce your immoral laws. Unfortunately... This whole thing is recorded and it's now a matter of public record. So obviously I can't let you go. You can have that back. Thank you. There will, will be no arrest. What? There will be no arrest. No. Um, is there any, are there any drugs in the car or anything like that? No, no, nothing. All right. Of course, he's a politician, so he just lied. The investigators who arrive later will find more drugs in the car. How long have uh, you had this problem, man? It, it was a it was a relapse. I been clean for 13 years. All right. Just went through a really really bad divorce recently. Okay. Um. Uh, do you know if any of that was laced with fentanyl or anything? Because you were out out and like looked like you were choking. Really? Yeah. Uh, That's why someone literally sprinted and, and flagged me down because they thought you were having a heart attack or choking. Uh, I, no, not that I know of. Hey, I, I was just tearing out over I just. Right, I was on the second floor, man. I was on the floor. Sorry. Sorry, right. can you uh, sit over towards the front of your car, yeah, please? Yeah. Thank you. If you're unsteady on your feet, just no, find maybe one of those curves or something. Obviously, if you were anybody else, not a cop and not a politician, I would have already had you tightly cuffed and sitting in the back of my cruiser as I rifled through your vehicle. Talk about cutting the political class a generous portion of courteous professionalism. Now, the cop will eventually cuff Mr. Riley, but he'll be apologetic about it. Why don't we? Right. Can you go on 22 all before a civil complaint, please? Careful. Is, uh, is 
Pods, you want me to get them over here? Would you mind? Yeah, um, I, I don't mind. Just uh, do me a favor, can you come over to the front of mine? Yeah. Thanks. Just, just hang out in the front while I make this phone call. Thanks. Dig out just a smaller little rock so we don't have to break anything. Uh, if we can get a little bit with the uh, the powder. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll do it. I'll touch it. I got it. Yeah, it's kind of awkward. Yeah. Yeah. Be careful, cause he was on the nod, or like it yeah, seemed I'm like sure anyways. It's mixed with something else, but. You need the knife? Yeah, let me use that. Be careful with that stuff. Is I don't know if that's fentanyl waste or not. There's white all over there. He doesn't yeah. know. Yeah, I was just telling him the same thing because I mean, you don't fall asleep usually from completely, you know, it's not an opiate. Yeah. Usually. It's yeah. Enough. Claims he was tired and he, and he may have sleep apnea, but I don't think that's gonna. Fly. Especially like this. Yeah. Yeah, only climb a lot too. It's like you stick out like a sore thumb. Well, yeah, right away. Fentanyl. Oh, uh, coke. Yeah. Crack. Pop for crack. I can test it for fentanyl too. Test it for both, just to make right. sure. Because I don't know what we're dealing with. Well, can you just snap a picture of that? Especially yeah. when you put him in a cell. Watch him quick. In case he goes down quick. Right. Got him. We're gonna arrest him. He's gonna come in, and uh, we'll charge him. And uh, he wants to tell the car major. No, the cop can stay, stay, here. stay here. I'm not getting in it. No, no, no we'll we'll stay like it. that. We'll have we can have him call someone at the station. He can have. I mean, he wants to have his mother come get the car, but I'm not. Gonna, I wouldn't have. Him. No, I'm not getting there, touching all that. All that white powder, is that, that's a piece that of crack. Piece yeah, of crack. yeah, that's definitely, that's definitely crack. Yeah, yeah, most likely. Whew. Yeah, you can smell it, and he's burning up. He has a bunch of toy boy, and... Should we have a toy? It looks no, like no, no, there's no, like no, half no. living out of this car. No, there's like private toilet property. Trees. We're good. We're on private property. Now the cop is going to apologetically explain to the politician that he doesn't really have an option. He has to put him in cuffs but he makes sure that they're not too tight for the poor guy. All right. Yeah, I know. It's not like I have, have an option here, man. I'm sorry. Let me know if they're a little too tight or anything. We can loosen up. No, I mean, I mean, uh, once or twice. Yeah, but whoever yeah. you buy it from, if you if you continuously buy it from, you know who you're buying it from. This, you don't know what people put in it. No, I, I understand. You know, they may have made that. But that's a big rock you got in there. I noticed that this supervisor never asks who he bought it from or where the supplier lives, so he can take more of this dangerous stuff off the streets. So I guess they're not too concerned about drugs. What's that, a fifty dollar piece? Uh, hundred. Hundred. Yeah, so I just, just got back into this. I, I, you gotta, this is gonna listen, I this is terrible situation. 
We're all in a tough spot, but we gotta do what we gotta do right by the numbers. And it'll help you in the end. Believe me when I tell you. And you'll say to us a month from now, good best thing that ever happened to me. That's what they all tell us. You can't go down this road anymore. No, no. God forbid we find you dead. That that would that's terrible. You yeah. know what I mean? And you were down in the car. No, I mean, I've been appointment set up for the seventeenth to go get help and Yeah. You just you, you, you gotta get on a program right away. No, I, I mean I, I look at you, yeah. you're not the Matt Riley that we know. Trust me. And I listen, your health and your well being is worth way more than any political career. I, I don't care about it. Yeah, we'll keep it, we'll keep it. Listen, we're not we're, we're, we we don't report nothing to the media unless someone tells them. So and then our arrest records are public record, I'm not gonna lie to you. But there's, there's, there's not much we can do on this. Unfortunately. If I was in your situation, I'd be in handcuffs. No, no, I'm not saying. You know? Oh, I'm not saying don't rest. Yeah, 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 yeah. In terms of media for the kids, as much as yeah. No, listen, quiet. we are only required to release what we release, and we won't. We have to release an arrest record by law. You know. More apologetic cop explaining from this guy. All right, jump in before you. We just want to make sure we're going to monitor you because you've, you've yeah. taken just, in some I'm going to down oh, again, all right? You've taken in some fentanyl, Matt, and that's, that's you know, we've got to make sure you're, you, you don't, may not feel it right now, but God forbid something happens to you. Yeah, you, no, I've never done that. You feel terrible so. about that, you know? Besides legitimately being concerned about somebody under the influence of drugs driving on the public roadways, posing a threat to other people, this is another example where the rulers and enforcers won't allow a man to be free to put whatever he wants to in his own body. Rather than protect his rights, they've done nothing but violate his rights by searching his car, going through his pockets, and taking his freedom. Politician or not, if you're not free to buy and use whatever substance you want without penalty, you're not free. not going to be there all day. You'll be in and out. I'm going to keep your wallet with me. I have your phone already. You okay. want me to throw this stuff in the car real quick? Sure. All right. Just step on in here. I'll buckle you up. Oh, wait. Matt, who's going to come side. get that car? This is a full cage. What's that? Get in here. Who, oh. Who's going to come get this car? Rafa? I would. Huh? I would. All right. Listen, you got to clean this car. Oh, God. It is supposed to be going back in, in tomorrow. Oh, my car's getting fixed. Oh, this isn't even your car? No, it's a rental. Oh, it's a loaner. All right. But, yeah. All right. I mean, there's, there's all shit on the seat. All drugs on the seat. Oh, yeah, I mean, I wasn't drunk. I have an appointment on the right. 17th. All right. So. I'll crack a window for you in a second. Thank you. I'll leave the extended version of this video in the description so you can see it in its entirety. But one can only speculate what might have happened if there were no urgent 911 call or body cameras rolling. Don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. It really helps overcome the censorship algorithms. I'm 100% viewer supported. So if you want to help out the channel, become a member. There are also links in the description and you can also support the channel by grabbing a hard hitting conversation starting design from the store and you can put it on any shirt, hoodie, mug, cell phone case, whatever you want. I'll see you in the next video.